Hey guys, Christian Duke from strengthetics.com. We're here with Ezra Salmon at the 2013 AAPF Nationals. Ezra, thank you for taking the time. Thank you, appreciate it. Cool. Uh, before anything, I really want to ask you how long you've been in the sport of powerlifting. I see you got some good size there, and uh, I think you were emceeing part of the show. So just talk to us about your involvement in the sport. Uh, I've been involved in powerlifting for about 10 years now. I started in strongman, actually, um, and then converted over to powerlifting. Um, it's a sport that I just love. I love the three lifts. You know, combine all three of them, see what you're best at, and go from there. Okay, yeah. now you you are the promoter of this contest, and I, I do want to ask you a couple of questions about that. Yep. But before I get into that, I kind of want to ask you something. It's a it's a little off color, but I don't know a lot about powerlifting, and I kind of get just from the vibe that I get from talking to people. Powerlifting it has a lot of rules. It's very organized. Yep. What can you tell me about strongman though? Because a lot of people think strongman is just brute force. But no, not even close. You have to be a pure athlete to be uh, a strongman. I mean, you have to be quick, agile. You're moving. You're carrying a stone or a sandbag that's a couple hundred pounds, and you have to do it in the fastest time. You have to be an athlete to do that. I mean, if you're just a big guy, even though you're strong and you can't move, you're not going to do well. So okay. you have to have speed and agility to be a strongman. Would you say though, as far as from a coaching perspective, would you say that? There are two different schools of thought or two different, uh, uh, I guess, uh, theories, powerlifting and strongman. I mean, they're Absolutely. not. Absolutely. We train a lot the same, but for, for the strongman, you have to train your events to get good at the events. You can bring, use powerlifting to get a good core for, uh, for strongman competition, but like with your squat and your bench and your deadlift, not so much the bench, but your squat and deadlift is a, is a huge a bonus for uh, strongman competition, for sure. Okay. So, and then with powerlifting too, I, there's a couple interesting things. You got uh, tested and untested, absolutely, and shirted and raw. Right. Yeah. Um, the AAPFC uh, national meet right now is, is drug tested, so we do a minimum of 10% of the athletes, and um, the difference is equipped in in raw. Equipped okay. is all of the gears: your bench shirt, squat suit, deadlift suits, um, and then our raw, which is just a belt and wrist wraps. That's it. Okay. Very cool. Now, uh, one more question. I keep uh, hitting you with questions. Uh, the, the whole uh, equipped uh, area is where my, yep. my question comes next. Yep. The slingshot, is that like a gray area? I mean, because that's not really Sling shirted, right? I mean, no, that's it's not. It's, a, uh, it's definitely a device that uh, Mark Bell made. Um, it's awesome for someone recovering from shoulder surgery or, you know, they want to bring up the top end of their bench. It allows them to handle heavier weight. Um, it's something you cannot use in competition because okay. it goes over the elbow. Okay. You not know, anything past the elbows allowed in competition. That's okay. why we don't use elbow sleeves. Okay. So the slingshot's a great tool, especially for wall benchers that want to handle more weight. It's a great tool for that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, one one other question too, with the uh, as far as the rules go in the APF, you you can't reverse grip bench press, right? No, you cannot. Okay. And and that's that's uh, that's pretty uh, that's the been around. Script has kind of gone away. Okay. Um, not a lot of guys use it anymore. It's okay. kind of uh, even the false grip. We don't use much of that anymore either. So. Okay. I mean, you don't you can't grip the bar mm -hmm. like you would if you took a true grip to it, and then you don't get as much energy through it. So. And in these competitions, the spotter is actually unracking it for the. Yes, they are unracking it, and then they've got to come to a stop. We don't do any soft handoffs and let the bar go down with them. Okay. So we kind of bring it out, we stabilize it, and you have to remove yourself from the bench itself so the judge can see it. Okay, because the unracking is actually almost like half a rep in itself, right? Yeah, exactly. I okay. mean, plus you get yourself out of position, you lose your tightness in the bench, especially in your upper back. So okay. it allows you to settle in. And that's another thing is when we bring it out to them, they're settling in with their back and be able to squeeze it tighter. So, yep, unracking okay. it is, that can be hard. <laughs> and then finally, uh, Promoting this event, you worked with a lot of good vendors here. I know you had GNC, New Breed, Vaisalis, yes. uh, House of Pain. Absolutely. How, how difficult was it organizing this event? I mean, it, it looked f totally flawless. Uh, well, I appreciate that. It, it, uh, there was many sleepless nights. Um, I've been planning this since uh, we were awarded the meet in November. Um, was, I had to go through a bid process with the uh -huh. APF and WPC. Uh, once I was awarded the meet, we got with the Deltaplex, put together sponsor packages, and, and you know, and, and being a first-time okay. event, everybody's a little leery of even jumping on board, but a lot of the people that are vendors here, I know personally, and knowing that we're putting something together that's never been done before. A combination awesome. of powerlifting, strongman and crossfit under one building, it's never been done. So this was something we wanted to do. Great. Now, if somebody wants to follow 
uh, what you're doing in the future. They may want to train with you. Do you have a website, Facebook, any of that? Uh, Facebook, it's uh, my facility is uh, Performance Edge Training Center right here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. Um, I specialize in mostly just body transformations, strength training, which entails you know competing in powerlifting, strongman. I've got the equipment to do everything. Um, that's what I mostly specialize in. Okay, fantastic. We'll include that link. Again, thank you for taking the time. You're the promoter of this event. I'm uh, floored that you spoke to me. And uh, again, great event. Thank you. Thank you, Christian.